Well, welcome back to the channel, everybody. Yesterday, we finally got everything cultivated. And I don't know if you can pick it up on the camera, but there is a lot of green there that didn't get killed. Um, that means probably today I will go over them again. I'm not going to film any of it, but uh, same thing as what we did yesterday. And right now we're going over to the potato patch. So we'll go over and check that out. So as you can see, the stuff's breaking the ground. We got our potatoes in extremely late. And there's our nemesis right there. Um, yeah, they're everywhere. Hopefully, the, uh, the chemical that we put out will kill them. I don't know if it will or not. We had a discussion about whether or not it was too old. It's several years old, but um, it's funny how they all gather on one plant and will attack it. There's four of them right there. But we can take care of them four. So, anyway. Yeah, I don't see any now. It's funny how, yep, there's one there. Usually if there's one on the plant, there's more. Kind of strange how they do. They go to each other. But uh, yeah, we're just gonna stir this fertilizer in. You can see that fertilizer there in the ground. We're just gonna go down and mix it, get it mixed in. Next week it's gonna be real hot. And uh, we may even, I don't know if we'll put the discs on before then or not. But I'm gonna set up the cultivators on the tractor. We're gonna put the drags on that go behind the rear tires. So the only thing that we won't be stirring is the very middle row, right where the potatoes are. Before we start cultivating, I just wanted to show you this. You know, buds are starting to come. These are almost as wide as the plastic. Um, these are our zucchini. And some of them, as you can see, they're all about the same height, same width. Some were, uh, the leaders were cut off, some they were not and it really makes no difference if you're planting in windy on a windy day you're better off to cut the leaders off but <clears throat> anyway they're uh yeah they're coming real good let's see that's the fourth i believe that is uh golden zucchini there and the next one over is um acorn and after that i have no idea we just kept planting all the squashes um but anyway once they get going we'll be able to tell so <laughs>
day we've uh, been moving stuff getting ready for the heat wave you can see by my hands I'm moving tomatoes out of the fourth house which doesn't uh, cool very good I'll show you what they look like in this house this house here is a lot nicer house and as you can see they're pretty big to be moving but we've been moving them Carol takes the truck and I take the stem with my hand and uh, make sure I'm burning a little bit before you get here but uh, yeah we've got another about five or six spots there and uh, we're gonna call it a night but show you what the other house looks like so the reason that we are moving it out this house has got this black plastic on the bottom and it's also only a, I think it's a 36 inch fan at the back which is not big enough for this house and uh, it might be a 40 it ain't very big and now uh, this house does not cool good um, I think that's a 36 the other ones that we have are all either 44s or something like that they're quite a lot bigger they might even be 48 but you can see we've moved a whole bunch on that side we've been moving these out and I mean there's quite a bit of tomatoes on these I mean I'm a cocking tomatoes you know so anyway we got to move all these probably we'll do another three or four tonight and then we'll do the rest tomorrow so this is how Carol does it she just pulls the wagon I got the top and it does make your arm burn because you're holding about five or six pounds here at least and it's out arm length so good endurance test I guess don't stop keep going I don't know if you heard that snap but that wasn't good but anyway I'll bring you back in a minute when we tie her up and that is that same pot all strung up we had to cut the top off because in the other house we got a little more headroom but it's all tied off got nice looking tomatoes no uh, blossom end rot we've been feeding them the cow mag for the last oh I don't know a week and a half maybe two weeks now it's made a difference so things are looking good been putting a lot of these hanging begonias out they're beautiful they love it under here it's half shaded so we're trying to get a lot of plants out here for this heat wave so that we can keep them watered get some shade on them so anyway just listen to the evening don't know if you can hear it or not Anyway, that's going to be it on this video here. We got to get going and it slows me down. So anyway, keep safe, everybody. We'll see you on the next one.